I'm pretty sure that most, if not all, PC gamers have heard of the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. Well, there's a new one, and this one brings everything that was good with the Tournament Edition, and even adds some better stuff. This mouse has a great amount of potential, and I'm gonna review it for you in this video. So why don't you hit that like button down below, and might as well hit the subscribe one as well, it's very close to it. Thanks for watching, and enjoy. The Razer Mamba Elite was released into the wild June of this year. I didn't even hear about it until a couple of people commented about it in the comments of one of my videos. As soon as I found out about it, I bought it. And because I had the money for it, it's not cheap. Currently, this mouse isn't even available on Amazon, so you may have trouble finding it. From what I know, it's available in the Razer website, the Best Buy website, and Newegg. But they might sell out, so get one while you can. This mouse looks exactly like the Tournament Edition, but with a couple modifications. The body of it is the same. Which is a good thing in my opinion. The Mamba is so far the most comfortable mouse I've used. And this one doesn't change that. It's right-handed palm grip style fits perfect in my hands. Everything is located exactly where your fingers sit so there's nothing uncomfortable about it. It feels really high quality in every aspect of it. No loose parts or anything like that. I believe it also has the perfect amount of weight for a mouse. There's no weight system like you may see in other mice, but there's no need for one when the mouse is well balanced. The grips on the sides feel very comfortable and, well, grippy. The scroll wheel also has a very good grip in my opinion. I often don't even notice the grip, but the one on the Mamba Elite feels extra good. The Mamba Elite has 9 programmable buttons, which include the left and right click, the two side buttons, the DPI up and down buttons on top of the mouse, and the scroll wheel's click. But wait, that's only 7. The scroll wheel can actually tilt to the sides giving you an extra two buttons. I'm pointing that out because the Mamba, both the old and the new one, is the only mouse that I've owned that has this tilting scroll wheel. I don't realize how much I use it until I use a mouse that doesn't have it. This is useful for when you have multiple windows open and you need to scroll to the sides because part of the page is got cut off. I don't use it while gaming so it probably won't be a big deal for most people. All those buttons can be remapped in the Razer Synapse software. In that software there's also something called Hypershift. Now this is available in the older Mamba as well, and I'm pretty sure it's available on most Razer mice. I'm not completely sure how you use it, but essentially it adds buttons to your buttons. With Hypershift on, you can have the left click button be the left click button, and something else when you click it again. I haven't used it much, but it seems like an interesting idea that can possibly improve workflow or just make everything easier to access. And all of that should last you a good while because these Razer mechanical mouse switches can last up to 50 million clicks. They also sound great. Clicky, not too loud, but not too quiet. So yeah, good stuff from Razer. Here's a sound test for those of you who are interested. Moving on from that, I'm sure one thing caught your attention, the lighting. This mouse has the best lighting I've seen in a mouse, period. This has the exact same lighting area as the old Mamba, but this one does it so much better and you can tell right away. The older Mamba has a few lighting zones on the sides and you can tell easily where each zone started and ended. The new Mamba makes that incredibly smooth by having more lighting zones. Now it just looks like one uninterrupted strip of light, and it looks great. You can go really in depth in customizing the lighting for this beauty in the Synapse software once again. If we look at the bottom side of the mouse, we are greeted with some pretty large gliding pads. These make the gliding experience incredibly smooth. I use it on the Razer Firefly mouse pad, and it is some of the smoothest gliding I've experienced. Also, on the bottom side of the mouse, we have an unusual button. It's the profile button. With this button, you can save macros and other settings into profiles in Razer's cloud storage or on the mouse itself. The Mamba Elite does have a bit of storage built in so you can save your settings with the profile button. This also works if the mouse has multiple users and you don't want to be going back and forth and changing the settings every time you want to use it, so that's good. And now to the biggest upgrade from the old Mamba, the sensor. The Mamba Elite comes equipped with the Razer's acclaimed 5G advanced optical sensor with true 16,000 DPI. Okay, I read that straight from the Razer's website. But it's true, it comes with an optical sensor, and although I don't think anyone uses it at 16,000 dpi, unless you're on crack, it's a really good sensor. Many reasons why the old Mamba received a lot of negativity was because of its laser sensor. Now I've had the old Mamba for over a year and it's just now starting to give me problems occasionally. People complain about the sensor freezing and stuff, all of that is gone with the optical sensor on the Elite. I've used the PC normally, I've edited videos, I've played Fortnite and I've encountered no issues with this mouse so far. In fact, I feel like I've gotten some of the best feedback and accuracy on this mouse in comparison to other mice I've used. So I thought this mice would have the potential to be among the very 
very best. And well now I know that it's the best mouse I've used. Maybe it's one of the best on the market. For the $90 price tag that the Razer Mamba sells for, you get the best lighting on any mouse hands down, great comfort for your hands, one of the best if not the best sensor in a mouse, and the most important thing of all, stickers. I would definitely recommend this mouse to anyone looking for one. That's it for this video, tell me in the comment section below what mouse you're using and if you're planning on getting something like the Mamba or if you have the Mamba Tournament Edition. Also don't forget to leave a like and feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next video.